Hello friends, so welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll see a basic formulas in Excel. So let us start the Excel. So go to the run command and type excel and press enter so that Excel will be open and just go with the blank workbook. And here you will apply the basic formulas. So if you give any values here, so let it, let, uh, I have given some six values and if you select all those values, you can observe in the status bar, we will be getting the three formulas that is the average of the given numbers and the count and the sum. And if you want to display all these things here, right, see for example, sum and this is the average and this is the count, okay. Now see, if you want to display the sum of all these numbers here, so one thing you need to remember if you want to apply the formula just we have to start with the is equal to right so there is a function called sum and that should be started with the is equal to so say is equal to sum of and here you can observe the syntax so we need to select the numbers which we want to add so just select the starting cell value and uh, Press the shift button and select all the values. So you can observe here D3 colon D8. So here the colon represents the range. That means for all the cells between D3 and D8 will be considered. And close the parenthesis and just press enter so that you will get the value. So sum of all these values will be 210. And if you start with the sum, see sum, and if you select this one, so it doesn't apply the formula okay it will be a normal content it will be considered as a normal content and if you use is equal to and sum then it will be considered as a formula so in excel every formula should begin with a is equal to so if you are going with a manually so it is is equal to or see here you can observe auto sum right so you can select these all values and just click on here and click on sum directly you will get the sum of the value okay or else you can apply the formula is equal to sum of and whatever the values we are we require to add that cell value should be the cell number should be given here with the help of a comma or a column right if i want to add only the odd number of cells right i will show you is equal to sum of select the values press control select the next one press control select the next one and close this here so you can observe here the cells are represented in a comma separated values okay so comma separated so if you press enter only those values will be added only those values will be added so 10 plus 30 40 40 plus 50 90 and if you select this one, you can observe the formula here. So it doesn't give the value, but you, if you press here, the value will be displayed here. But here, if you press this cell, if you select this cell, the formula will be displayed rather than the value, right? If you want to get an average is equal to average, there is a formula called average and select the value similar to our sum function and close the parenthesis so that you'll get the average or else you can simply select all these things go to here and click on average you'll get the average value by default you'll get the average value right next count so we need to count the values so you can simply go with a function called is equal to count of select the value starting cell and the end cell close the cells enter or else you can simply select all these values Go to the auto sum here drop down and count numbers you will get the only count okay so it only counts the cells which are having the values for example i will show you so i am taking some 20, 10 20 and i will just drag this one so you can observe right so i am not giving some two values here okay or uh, we'll take a randomly yeah see two values are not there so now you just apply the count so that we will get only the values only the cells which are having the value it will count only the cells which are having the value you can observe here so these are the five 
6, 7 and 8, only 8 cells. So the blank cells will not be counted for the count function. Bla blank cells will not be counted in the count function. Right, next, minimum value. So how to get the minimum value? Okay, so is equal to minimum of, you can also, here also you will have to select the, all the ranges. So select the ranges, you will get the minimum value or else you can simply select the, all the items and then go with the minimum value, we'll get the minimum value here among all the values. Among all the values, the minimum value. Similarly, there is a maximum function. For the maximum function also, the same thing is equal to max of select the range of cells in which you need to find the maximum so that you'll get the maximum. And now, there is a one more variant in the count. See. I just want to count the values which are greater than 40. So for example, so let us take one example. So see, uh, S1, I will give you S1. S1 represents a student 1. Student 1 got the marks for uh, subject 1, subject 2, subject 3. Only we'll, we'll take only 3 subjects, right? So S1, S2, so like this, I'm having some 10 students. So here I, I'm giving some marks, 40, 40, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 90, 85, 85, 70, 75, 80, 85, 80, 60, 30, 20, 10, 70, 80, 50, 40, 60, 50, 90, 80, 90, right. So, this is the table, just uh, imagine there are 10 students and we have given some marks to the three different subjects. So, we can format all these things. So in order to give some look and feel, you can give the formatting, right? You can apply the formatting options. So I, I have applied these formatting options. Subject 1, subject 2, subject 3. I need to get the total for all the three subjects for each and every student. Now here I will do is equal to sum of, so there is a formula just now we have seen, select the range of the values and just click enter, you can get the value, right? So you can observe here, the first student got the marks so, 50, 40 and a 40. So, 90 plus 40, 130, right? Now, you need not calculate all the things. I mean, the same formula for all the students. You can just select this one and you can drag this one so that the same formula will be applied for them. See, you can observe here, if you select this cell, you will get the formula J4 to L4. J4. So, this is the 4, right? J4 to L4. And if you select the next one, you will get J5 to L5. And this one, J6 to L6 observe so even though you are dragging the cell automatically the cells will be incremented right you need not apply the same formula for multiple uh, i mean multiple times right and you can simply format the text and this is a total and now i need to get the maximum maximum marks see maximum marks among this one right so the student who got the maximum so I, here I will go with a is equal to maximum of give the range of the value so that I will get the maximum value is 260 and I need to get the minimum marks who got the minimum marks. So I will apply the minimum formula in this so that I will get the minimum mark the student who got the minimum mark and now I will see the average marks in the average marks in the class. So, I will go with the formula average and I will select this one, right, I got this one, average. Okay, now I need to know who got uh, less than 50% uh, marks or uh, any condition, right, apply any condition. So, I will go with the formula is equal to divided by 300. So, I will apply the formula, okay, 300 into 100, right. See, the formula 
just use this one so the same thing will be applied for all the things so this is the percentage percentage right so you can observe here there are lot of uh, decimal points i need to round off i need to round off so if you want to round off there is a function called is equal to round so select the value and how many up to how many values you need to round if you give zero you will get only 43 okay and if you go with a 2 it will round up to two values right so we need to select the cell as well as the number of points to be scaled right rounded so this is the round function this is the round function and also you can apply the round up and round down so if you want to round up irrespective of the decimal values if there is a decimal value automatically it will the value will be round up that means a 44 we will get the value as a 44 even though we are having the, some percentage 43.1 right and round down means even though we are having the value 43.9 the round down will automatically down the value that will comes to 43 see I will give is equal to round up of this one and number of digits we can also give the number of digits i will give it zero so you can you can see round up 44 so even though the value is some 43.1 will get round up means 44 and similarly there is a function called round down so these are the basic formulas round down means even though we are having 43.9 we'll get 43 see i will show you 43.9 so even though we are having some 43 okay and round up see even though we are having some 43.1 will be having 44 right so hope you understood this uh, formulas simple formulas now i need to check the uh, the people or the students who got greater than 50 percentage greater than 50 percentage See, I need to get a count is equal to count. So, simply if you apply the count, it will count all the cells which are having the value irrespective of the value. Even though it is having 20, it will count. Even though it will be having some 0.5, it will count. Right. Now, my question is, I need to count only the students who got a greater than 50%. So, for this purpose, just go with the count if function we are having some count if function so we apply count if give the range in all these range i need to find greater than 50 so that should be enclosed in quotations quotations greater than or equal to 50 so it will count only the students or the cells which are which is having the value greater than or equal to 50 so if you observe here eight students so this is a greater than or equal to 50% right now i will go with a less than or equal to 50% less than 50% okay less than 50% see is equal to count if select the range from here to here comma give the value in double quotations less than 50 you can observe only two values are there only two students got less than 50 percent you can observe here 20 that means the student 7 and 43 that is the student 1 these two two students got only the less than 50 percent and all the remaining students got greater than or equal to 50 percent right so these are the basic formulas we need to know right so there are a lot of formulas available in excel so these are the basic formulas so we'll stop here and in the next session we'll see a few more formulas so in this session we have seen the sum average count sorry count count if minimum maximum round round up round down right so all these things we have seen the sum of the values average count count if minimum maximum round round up and round down right so hope you understood this session and if you are having any doubts regarding these uh, simple formulas 
so feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts right if you really understood my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much